John. Can you hear that, John? Daniel insulting me and really doing his, his best to piss me off. It, it's worked. Some people think that we fabricate this stuff, that it's made up for TV. Hey, put John and I in the middle of an alley somewhere, we'll fight. It doesn't escalate to that point unless guys have a very, very strong dislike for each other. Oh, you got your ass whooped today, buddy. No, I didn't. You're a I can't wait to beat the out of you. Yeah, like just like you did today, you're on your butt. If you really count today as a fight, you're, you're ignorant. You're a little fat bitch. I wish they would let me next door so I could spit in your face. You know I would absolutely kill you if you ever did something like that, You right? could never, you could never kill me. Oh, I, I bet you I could. John Jones! Daniel Cormier. Now they'll go to battle. And still, light heavyweight champion of the world, John Jones. I do not like DC. All the crap he talks, it motivated me. Let's go, baby. And still. Breaking news just into Fox Sports 1. The UFC has stripped John Jones of his light heavyweight title and suspended him indefinitely after Jones is charged in a felony hit and run incident. He's going to tap. It is all over. Daniel Cormier is the new UFC light heavyweight champion. John Jones, get together. I'm waiting for you. This is UFC 197. John Jones returns to the octagon tonight. Nice Quick elbow by John. Boom, right to the side of the head. Throws him back. John Jones now the interim light heavyweight champion. I don't think I want that belt. It's not the real belt. I want my actual belt back. I'm so excited to fight Daniel Cormier. As John left, you know, he stared me down and he flipped me to bird. We cannot wait to see you guys go again. All right, UFC 200, the champ and the interim champ, Cormier versus John Jones 2. I'm younger, stronger, okay, more athletic, you and Once I'll again, beat you head, 10 head times head out of 10 times. You have lost your mind. I'm going to be trying to rip your head off every second. I'm willing to die to beat you. Mm -hmm. Be prepared to do that. You guys are without a doubt the two best light heavyweights on the planet Earth. And uh, you're about to do it again. I'm torn with the way you guys trash talk each other and go back and forth. Because on one hand, I really appreciate the humble honor and humility of martial arts. But on the other hand, when you guys talk trash to each other, it's legitimately entertaining. And when the cameras are still rolling and you had that earpiece on and you said, hey, are you still there? Mm -hmm. Hey, are you still there? You're the scum of the earth. You are a terrible human being, but you can sure turn it on, huh? Thank you. I wish they would let me next door so I can spit in your face. It's exciting, but it's real. With you 100%. guys, it's it's 100% real. You've competed against a lot of great fighters, and you haven't had the kind of animosity that you have with Daniel. What is it about Daniel that fires you up so much? Honestly, he doesn't really fire me up that much. He doesn't fire me up that much. I've had sit downs like this with Rashad Evans, Rampage Jackson, used to freaking say smart <laughs> chill on him. But it never got physical, it never got to the point where it did with you guys at the this, face off. This dude, you know, this dude put his hand in my throat. You can watch the video a million times. I see fighters go forehead to forehead a million times. This guy put his hand in my throat. It's the first person to actually touch me before a, way, before a fight. Actually, you touched me right before because we went forehead to forehead. We you actually touched me right before. I'm not going to sit here and bicker with this child about this. The truth is, um, he's looking at his superior, and he just can't handle it. <laughs> superior, yeah. you have lost your mind, son. Um, yeah. You have lost your mind. Yeah. You've never had this kind of animosity with anybody else you've ever competed with in MMA. No. Why, why has it been there with John? I just don't like, I don't like entitlement. The way that he fought in those last two rounds of our fight, the way that he fought in the Gustafson fight in the last two rounds, the way that he competed against Shogun Hua, the way that the, the things that this guy's blessed with, and to just take the chance of pissing it all away, it makes no sense to me. I don't understand how a guy can be so focused in one area and be willing to throw everything away with the other hand. So as one hand is doing this, the other hand's trying to do this. I don't like that. I just don't think that a guy who's been blessed with these abilities should be willing to risk it all. And so I voiced that. He doesn't, 
deserve all this. What did you expect when you fought him the first time, and what was different? We felt a little bigger than I anticipated. Woo! You thought I was big then. Bigger. You thought I was strong then. Mm -hmm. He felt a little bigger. Wait till you feel me now. At the time, he felt a little bigger at the time. Mm -hmm. It's good that he's lifting his weights. Good on him. Sure. And you know, one thing I didn't question was his, his medal going into the championship rounds. But I thought I could push a pace that he would not be able to keep. We both tired, but he was able to stay the course a lot better than I did. Mm. I got tired, and in that moment, I didn't fight as, as I could fight. And you're right, you did improvise. If that was improvision, you improvised. So this is an opportunity was, of a lifetime. If that, if Why that didn't was, you fight the way you could have? If, if that was on a, a, a switch up, and you changed it mid fight, Good on you. Allowed you oh, to win exactly those last two rounds. That's all I do every but fight. But I will learn from my mistakes. That's the thing that I've shown over the course of my life. In mistakes, I learn from them. Right, right. Let's make this about John's yeah. personal life. No, I'm not, I'm not talking fight. about your personal life. I'm talking about everything. Okay. I will make the changes necessary to get the job done. Okay. And I'm just going to sit here and pause and wait for you to make changes. Okay. I'm not going to develop at all. You don't, okay. At the end of the day, I'm the only guy to beat him. He had his very first title shot, which means I would imagine his coaches had him in the best shape they could possibly get him in, and he still lost the fight, which means you can blame it on being nervous, or I had never fought on that stage, or I had never fought a light heavyweight for five rounds. Whatever excuse you want to come up with for why you lost the first time, the truth of the matter is I am the alpha. He really wants to be the alpha, and he, he, he has no real reasoning in his mind for why he's not the alpha, and, and that's why uh, there's a hatred there. The hatred comes from him. It stemmed from him from the very beginning. I met him backstage, Brock Lesnar versus Cain Velasquez, and I simply said, dude, I believe I'll take you down. I'll take your ass down, which I've proven to be true on numerous occasions now. Um, and he chose to use that as this huge insult and, and created a drama and a beef um, right then and there. You're right. He wins the argument. What's your you excuse? won the fight. What's your excuse? You won the fight, John. What's your excuse? But we get to run it back, John. And why that do you, does not and, determine anything. And before. why do you think it's going to be different? Because it will be different. Okay, question. I will when beat I your beat your ass. Yeah. I will beat your ass. Sure, Daniel. Okay. Breaking news just into Fox Sports 1. The UFC has stripped John Jones of his light heavyweight title and suspended him indefinitely after Jones is charged in a felony hit-and-run incident. Unfortunately, we're seeing this kind of pattern of self-sabotage, so what I would like to see is some kind of personal healing. I want to see John learn from this. He's not a bad person, you know? John has been a, a legend in the sport. He can go down as one of the greatest guys or one of those guys that said, man, he had it all but just didn't see it. Over the last year, I've, I've had the opportunity to, 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 to kind of be alone and work on my character outside of being an athlete. And I'm excited to get back in here, get on the right track, and, and uh, put on some excited fights for you fans. UFC 197, Jones versus St. Pru, who replaces an injured Daniel Cormier. John Jones fighting for the first time in 476 days. Uh, you know, congratulations to Jones. You got it done. You know, a year and a half off, been dealing with a lot of stuff outside of the octagon. He got the job done. You can even see it on his face. He's not satisfied with the performance he put on tonight. It, it's hard for me as a competitor to watch. Sure. Look at that. He's I'm like, Daniel, staring at he's you. staring at me, staring at me. I gave Daniel the finger, leaving the octagon. It felt great. Me and DC don't like each other. And I believe I can beat Daniel Cormier right now, for sure. And I'm going to prove that as soon as possible. What is all this, all the trials and the, the, the pressure and the madness and all the things that you've been through, what, what has this done for you as a person? Well, you know, it's strengthened me tremendously. Um, it's given me time to just step away from being a pro athlete. You know, I started in mixed martial arts at age 19. From my very first fight, commentators were saying, man, this guy reminds me a lot of Anderson Silva. So I put a lot of pressure on myself from day one to compete at the absolute highest level and to uh, and just to just to be the best, you know, to, to perform in a spectacular fashion. Um, so every one of my fights since age 23 has been against the number one contender. And it's been a lot for me to um, to juggle. You know, I think I focus so much on being the best as a martial artist. I, I let my character slide. And so. Getting away from the sport for a year, I, I had time to just develop my character. I really got an opportunity to, to understand 
uh, how much of a special thing it is to be the best in the world at something, how rare it is. And uh, I really got an opportunity to see clearly how I was pissing it all away. So, so having this time away has really just uh, developed me as a person. And ultimately that relates to me as an athlete. I feel like I'm at the top of my game as an athlete and as, a, and as an individual. I'm proud of myself of where I'm at right now, for sure. What's your reaction to that? It doesn't really matter what a lot, it, it He doesn't want to hear my reaction. Please. He, he doesn't want to hear my reaction because I will <laughs> tell him some sober and truth. Please. Sober and truth is his history dictates and determines that the same thing is going to happen. That is his character. That is him at his core. I look at that young lady, the PR lady that's on his team now, and I see in her eyes, she knows she's fighting a losing battle. <laughs> I look at his coaches. I see that these guys know that this kid will not change. He, won't, right. he will not change. He's the same guy. He's rotten at his core, and he will continue to f up. Don't you think that people can learn from their mistakes? Mistakes? Mistakes. You don't constantly make mistakes. No? You make mistakes, but you don't do them over and over no? and over and over. No. No, says who? You don't do that. So if that's you know who? when a mistake, when you make a mistake, it changes you. You try to make yourself better. Not necessarily. And this is, many times we've heard this speech. John, this isn't the first time you've told us this. No, same absolutely. Thing. You know what? This isn't the first time you've told us that. So how am I supposed to believe this guy? I don't need to actually. I don't give. I actually give, give two. If John Jones is in jail. I can give uh, two. I, I just don't want anything life-threatening to happen to him. But anything else, I, I don't give a damn if John Jones is. I don't care what happens with him. My mistakes are very public, and. Uh, at no point did I ever uh, reach a rock bottom. And for me, this last thing really was a rock bottom. To be publicly uh, shamed, to lose respect uh, amongst my family, amongst my fans, um, to get my belt taken away, to get my job taken away for a year, that was my rock bottom. And uh, so in life, you take every day, one day at a time, and once again, and, it does not you, matter. It doesn't you, matter what I think. Exactly, it does not matter what I exactly. Think. So you I don't, don't, you don't, you you don't know what's going on because you're sitting here saying but it doesn't matter. that I I'm going to let people down. I want. Yeah, you and you, exactly. you do so have every right. Exactly, I am entitled to my opinion. You do I don't have, have, have to every think right. that he changes. But I don't I give to, I don't care. Exactly. But, but if you express it to him, you got to think that he's going to respond to you. Okay, let's see it. I really, I really am excited to see what you're going to do to me. It ain't going to happen. Then the world's excited to see what I'm going to do to you. Okay, let's see. I know that the guy's good, I know he's great, but I'm, I'm prepared, man. I've prepared a lifetime for this, I'm ready to go. Like, enough of this waiting, it's time for us to get it on. Well, you've been here. You've had a huge beef with people before. Yeah, there's nothing new about this fight. The, for me, the big deal is, can John get up again and do it again at this level where if you make a mistake, it can cost you the whole fight? It's a big one, it's 25 minutes. Everybody's getting hurt with the glory. The glory is worth it all. I'm glad you were talking. I'm glad you were talking. Yeah? Yeah, you'll be talking Saturday. Man. Hey, when I'm beating your ass Saturday. Okay, what? Show, hey, I suck. I suck, right? I suck. You just got to show me. Show me. Hey, show me on Saturday. Show me on Saturday that I suck. Hey, show me I suck. You suck. He's gonna whoop your ass, bro. God, I hate that kid. You guys need each other. Great fighters need great fighters. It's it's always been the case. There's no great fighter who has existed completely in a vacuum. You need to be tested, and the only way you get tested is by another champion. Do you guys appreciate that? Do you recognize this moment? Absolutely. Do you recognize that? Absolutely. I appreciate Daniel being here, Gustafson being here, uh, Anthony Johnson being here. You know, uh, without these guys, you know, there's no competition for me. There's, you know, I, I look at them this way. I got three guys to work harder than. I got three guys to be more focused than. Uh, to love this sport more than these are the only three guys that can stop me from going down as one of the greatest of all time. And uh, none of them are going to stop me. So I definitely appreciate my, my competition. They keep me sharp. For me, there's only one. You see, and that's, that's, that's the difference. It's only him. There's nobody else. There's no Gustafson. There's no Rumble. There's only him. And that's what drives me every day. 
knowing that this kid, this guy right here, this guy right here, this young man has won every fight he's been in. He beat me, which says a lot to me. So it's only him. My vision for myself is to be the greatest martial artist to ever live, right? And I know in order to do that, I need to beat him again. I need to beat Anthony Johnson, and I need to get rid of all doubt in my Gustafson fight, my rematch with Gustafson. So although I'm very aware that it's me and him fighting right now, I'm still looking at the bigger picture. Daniel Cormier is just a pawn in this, in this whole game. You know, my life doesn't revolve around him the way his revolves around me. Oh, it doesn't. Trust me, my life does not revolve around you. Your legacy does. You're the one, yes, guess what though? My legacy does revolve around you because of the way I won the championship. But all that does, my legacy is not my life. That's where you're getting confused. Cool. I can go outside of this, I can go outside of this sport and still have accomplished everything I have over the course of my life, still have my beautiful family, right. still have my job and everything else. My legacy in this sport does revolve around him, but nothing else. And that's where you're confused. My, my legacy and my life, they go hand in hand, so. Doesn't matter to me. My life outside of this cool. sport is my life outside of this And I think that's why I'm gonna win. No. My passion okay. towards this. Okay. Right? I believe this John, is my believe, destiny. Yeah, believe it. This is a job for you. This is believe a job it. for me. Believe your destiny, John. Right. Okay. Yep, I, be, I have been since I was a yep. 19 years and old. And you've done a phenomenal I've job. I've been calling myself a champion since I was 19 years old. You've done a phenomenal job. Right, thank you. You've done a phenomenal job. Thank you. But we'll see. I'd like to begin with a question for Daniel Cormier. Daniel, give us your thoughts. What's going to be different in this rematch with John Jones? I'm very confident. My confidence has never wavered. And uh, I do feel good going into this rematch. I took his undefeated record. Well, I'm going to take my belt back. And uh, you know, last time I was uh, just fighting to win. This time I'm fighting to kick his ass. I haven't been suspended. I didn't get stripped from my championship. I didn't do all those things. Guys, these are normal cheer this guy for saying he's not going to do these things anymore. I have done this my entire life. You are the biggest I've ever seen, for sure. Okay, we'll see. I know I'm gonna win. This is one of those fights where I just cannot lose. This belt will always be mine. What is different in you between now and the first time that Nothing. you fought? I've competed and I've competed multiple times. I'm still fighting. I'm fighting five-round fights over and over again. I'm preparing for five-round fights over and over again. Joe, when I started doing this, I was at heavyweight for 13 fights. When I went to 205, I got to fight Patrick Cummins. Lasted a minute. I fought Dan Henderson, and I laid on top of him. If I could have done that to him, I'd be fine in 25 minutes. When I fought him, he started to put damage on me, he started to hit me, he started to knee me, he started to really pushed me that, uh, in a ways that I hadn't been pushed at this weight division. So I got tired. I really did get tired, and he did a phenomenal job, him and his coaches, of developing a game plan to stifle me. As time has gone on, I've competed against the best guys in this division. I've dealt with adversity on multiple occasions. And you know what else? I felt this guy. I understand what he brings to the table. Won't be easy, but I know what I have to do, and I've got it. It'll be fine. What have you changed? There's some things that have changed in my game. Yeah. Yeah. Some yeah. things have changed in my game. I look at a 37 year old. You're not going to get any faster than you ever been. Don't need to be. You're probably no stronger. Don't need to be. That yeah. is your, as my opinion of you is what it is, that's your opinion right. of me and you are entitled. I'm, I'm, I'm creeping up on my prime. You're just getting older. It does not matter. You, your opinion you of me. You can't push it the way I can push it. Your opinion of me. Yes, you can't I can. Train. I can. I can definitely train as Listen, hard as you can. Listen, we could do anything. We could run mountains together. We could swim laps together. We could do push-ups, we could do jujitsu. we could... I, I will beat you at anything. Not even. I'm younger, okay. stronger, Okay. Okay. more I'm athletic, you and I'll again, beat you is, is 10 times out of 10 times. John, your training's been well documented for this fight. Your, the way you've talked about your sobriety, the way you've talked about your discipline, what will be different when you guys fight a second time? I mean, everything I'm doing is, is uh, is actually trying for the for the first time, so I've I've made huge differences. You know, I feel more complete as a man right now. I'm not hiding anything from anybody anymore. So in my personal life, uh, as an athlete, I, I'm just a completely different guy, and I'm excited to see what that does to a guy I've, I've fought before. Uh, what what a better uh, there couldn't be a better situation to go out and dominate DC. 
you know, DC, he's just, the, he's just the pong in this story, man. You know, at the time when I was facing Rashad, you know, I felt like it was everything. You know, and looking back on it, he was just a pawn in this story. Uh, same thing with DC, man. This isn't his story. He's living in my era right now. And I'm going to prove that. I know that I'm a competitor. And I know that when we stand in that octagon again, I'm going to go right at you and I'm going to fight your ass just like I did last time. And this time, I'm not going to tire. I'm not going to let you hold me against the fence. I'm going to be in your face pressing you trying to rip your head off every second of that fight. Now, I know you like to sit there on your high horse, but I'm telling you right now, this is my life and I'm willing to die to beat you. Because as I've said many times, you don't deserve this. You don't deserve this. So I'm bitter. I will show you that you don't deserve this. I'm not bitter at all, but you don't deserve this. I will die to beat you. Know that. All right. Be prepared to do that. This fight is what all of the great MMA fights are all about. It's the two best, the two very best, the two very best light heavyweights in the world with so much to prove, with so much experience now. And John, you coming from this place of sobriety, newly disciplined, even more focused, and before that, already being widely recognized as the greatest light heavyweight. This is an amazing fight. It's, uh, it's everything that's great about MMA and uh, I can't wait to see it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, sir. I think that's it. <sighs> Easy day.